What are the five things that I would do if I was going to reform the Japanese writing system as it stands today? Now, before I begin, just to give some context, I know that I'm just some guy, and so, like, why take my opinion seriously, but I am some guy who has read a lot about the Japanese writing system's history and reform, and I'm also some guy that has written an entire book about the Japanese writing system, so I guess I have some background here. That said, I'm also not going to be proposing anything here that I don't think is going to be useful to Japanese people, and it's not based on things that Japanese people actually do. So I'm not going to say get rid of kanji, get rid of katakana, anything like that, because one, Japanese people aren't asking for it, two, I don't think it's required, and three, while this may sound unfair, you don't reform a country's writing system to help learners. You do it for the people that are learning it from day one. That's true about every writing system in the history of time. So the things that I'm going to propose here are all going to be much more minor scale and just meant to kind of make life easier for hopefully everyone, especially taking some things that are already being done and making them formal. So. First thing I would do is introduce question marks as a actual formal recognized piece of punctuation in writing. The introduction of punctuation to Japanese kind of happened later than a lot of other contexts. Indeed, sentences just used to be written without any kind of punctuation. You just had to figure out when things began or stopped. And of course, the circle, the little you know, Japanese period, is doing a lot of good work. But I think having a formal question mark or even some original mark that serves like a question mark would be great in Japanese to help highlight when questions happen, even if ka is, of course, in many cases telling you, hey, this is a question. Giving signals to help readers in that way um, is a lot of extra information that just helps make things a bit easier. The second thing I do is take the cho'onpu, the long marker that is used for vowels in katakana, and just mandate it for vowels throughout the entire writing system. So you know more o o for o ki, but o u for, you know, o to o san, just a bar there, make it all simple, get rid of it. Yes, I do know that the O versus U difference does kind of link back to the etymology of the words. I love reading about etymologies, they're interesting, but Etymologies are not really important to the day-to-day -day person when they write a language. Just doing that dash thing is going to save everyone some time and really unify things. The system now isn't super complex, but it would make it simpler. And again, this is something that Japanese people are doing. You can see it constantly in online dialogue, manga, etc., where they will use that bar within hiragana. And so they're obviously seeing some benefit of it. Thirdly, I'd really like to see Japanese introduce some way of marking proper nouns. In English, for instance, we know that mark is a verb and mark is a name because one will have a capital and one will not. But in Japanese, it's quite common to come across the sequence of kanji and think it's a word because you've never seen that sequence before, but it's actually the name of a place or a person, especially since place names and person names can use kanji that aren't on the joyo kanji list and that are kind of, you know, irregularly seen. Yes, it's, you know, nice when they put furigana above things, but mandating furigana above everything is just not going to happen. It takes too much time. It's takes up too much space. Uh, just even some kind of signal that you are encountering a proper noun so that you don't look it up in a dictionary. You could look it up in like, you know, on Google or something like that instead would be useful. I'm not sure what it could be. You could maybe put a little marker at the top. I know that in Chinese sometimes they do underlines. Anything like that that's really unobtrusive and simple would be great and I think make things be easier to read for everybody. The fourth thing that I would do is introduce a new hiragana and katakana for the particle wa. We have a sound o and a particle o, right? So it's weird to me that we don't have a sound wa and a sound ha and then a particle wa. And that would be nice as it would make that kind of, you know, niwa niwa, niwa tori ga niwa iru kind of stuff, or the ha ha wa, ha ha no ha wa, all that kind of stuff that comes up in here, all kind of heavy text, would disappear. And you could really highlight that special particle the Japanese has. I don't think you need it for ni and de, etc., because they don't kind of bleed together in the same way that ha wa and wa do, uh, but it would be a nice little addition that would simplify things without complicating them too much. And then finally, i like to see some of the kanji shorthands, what are known as ryakuji, that Japanese people have invented, uh, be sort of introduced officially or permitted officially by the joyo kanji list so that they could be, you know, added to Unicode, etc., and just see what Japanese people do with them. Things like this version of the kanji for dormitory or kakunin being written in this really simplified way, putting them out there and letting people use them as shorthand, for instance, for taking memos, normalizing that, or even kind of an introductory step, step for children, and seeing what happens. If people like them, then they'll use them, and if they don't, then they won't. But taking these innovations that Japanese people have made for writing Japanese, not ones that you know we're forcing on them, but ones that they're using, and letting and see what happens to them, I think could only bring about benefits. So all in all, these are minor, but the goal here is not something like delete kanji, which will basically mean, hey, if you're Japanese, guess what? You can no longer read 2,000 plus years of Japanese writing. I don't think that's a good idea. Cutting people off from their entire literary history is not gonna. It's not a good idea. The chance to get rid of kanji 
it was there a long time ago, it's gone. But these small additions, I think, could make things easier. And I should be clarify finally that I'm only talking about these because, like, I study Japanese, I'm a Japanese linguist. I personally think that the English writing system is in much bigger need of reform than the Japanese writing system is, but I don't get paid to talk about or think about English. So, all in all, these would be my suggestions, but let me know what you think. What would you do if you could change Japanese? Uh, do note though, if you just write get rid of kanji, I'll, I'll probably just delete your comment. This is a very, very kanji-friendly space. Anyway, see you in the next video.